Hi, I'm Don Billington from Every Picture Tells a Story. Uh, kind of looking forward to Chelsea this year. Hopefully it will happen September now. Um, and what I'm going to do for you now is I'm going to show you a good way of displaying the Tillandsia, the air plant. I have several ways of doing it. We're going to try and show you two different ways. First way is we have a little frame. What I've done with this frame so far is just got some contorted uh, hazel and I've placed it and put it in place. And I'm going to, my intention is to sort of put this display, uh, put these plants into display and hopefully it will look quite nice. Just going to use Tillandsia. Uh, probably start off with this one, uh, which is Tillandsia stricta. It's the candy floss. A uh, nice big one and we'll start maybe and all I've done you might not see this is I've wired these with plastic coated wire really important to use the plastic coated wire if you use bare wire once that rusts it releases oxides and the oxides can kill your plants so we've got the plastic ones here and this is just a case of moving along and we'll start placing these in and uh, putting the wires through the frame and I'm just going to twist it a little bit so we're going to be looking like that that's the first one that we've got in again we're going to show you some you know more of the unusual plants the ones that give a little bit of character and the next one i'm going to be putting in is this one and uh, sometimes people can guess this by the shape of these leaves the way they twist and this one is caput medusa and we're going to put this one in as well again uh, i'm not going to crowd this out because i kind of think like a lot of space left in this will we'll show up the talansies that little bit more although we want it to look quite full and again a little twist holds it in position like so and again we'll add a few more maybe a little bit of color now and for color i'm going to use the ionatha red again so we'll put some in stand it up so we can see what we're doing and we'll put another couple just up this way here again the wires are going straight through towards the back I haven't strangled these plants by the way it is a loose tie but it's a loose tie just to hold it in in position and we'll have a couple of these red ones together because they're quite small and I curl them together will really lift this lift the color up into this little twist again like so and I think we'll put one more in again and we'll have this one running down this part here so straighten them wires out in it goes like so and then a, another little twist just holding it into position so again that's five talansias and that's what we're looking like so far okay so i'm going to move this away now and we'll put a few other bits in as well and i maybe think something towards the bottom again something a bit heavier again and with that we could start to use maybe the juncia uh, again nice structured plant and we'll put this in and i am gonna put it on this side here so again a few little twists hold it into position like so and right again now we're making this really three-dimensional some nice colors running through it some nice different textures on some of these plants and different forms again Another one with the little twisty ones, and this one is Bootsy Eye. Bootsy Eye. Nice one. It's got, it's got nice little freckles on the foliage as well. And I think with this one here, we could maybe just maybe just slide that inside there and maybe manipulate it so it's just sticking out a little bit. Again, we'll put more in. Uh, I'm going to put some of this one in. This actually is one of my favourite ones. This this is only a little one. And normally you wouldn't find this in the air. This one actually grows on on rocks. And it, they're from the Andes. They're indigenous to the likes of uh, to Ecuador and Peru, very high up. But a fabulous one. The tiny little hairs that you see on this are the trichomes. The way these plants work, they take in air, light and moisture through the trichomes. What the plant then does, it converts them three elements into to a, a nutrient called malic acid. Uh, very little root system on these, and the root system that they do produce is just for holding on. So it's minimal, minimal uh, nutrients uh, are taken up through the roots. And again, like I say, they're mainly for holding onto, onto rocks or, you know, onto wood bits and things like that, natural bits. And I'm going to put this tectorum 
to the bottom there like so and again I'll put a little bit more on this side as well this is melon cremata and we're going to put you in I think we might put one more plant in now because we are getting a little bit full and what might disguise and not make not make this look so good initially is the fact that there's there's no background onto this and I'm going to try and rectify that by putting something dark so it maybe lifts the colour again I will finish off at the bottom with a stricter so I'm going to restrict it again all air plants all relatively to easy to look after the main thing you don't do with these is don't over water like misting once every every week or maybe sometimes longer depending on where you keep it and that would be my little display now if I just lift this up at the back maybe just to darken it might give you a better idea of how that's gonna look with that backdrop and that is my first little display hanging on the wall you could even put this outside in the summer it likes good light uh, not too shady uh, and again a little bit of a misting so thank you that's my first one hi for my second design uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna sort of do a design on a wreath it's just a wreath ring what I've done with this I've just got some birch and I bundle it in and tied it on onto the ring uh, again this could be sort of like hung like so or it could even be sort of rested on the table and just done this way depending on what you want and how you want it uh, I am going to start off now with some of the uh, Talanzias again typical air plants this one here we've seen another form of it earlier on we've seen the stricter which is the uh, the candy floss with this one here this is what we call hard stricter and again using plastic coated wires all I'm doing is just loosely wrapping them round and we're going to put that there um, again I thought we'd sort of be a little bit mad then a little bit zany with this one and we're going to put some of the Caput Medusa on again we're just going to feed it through the birch like so and then we're just going to clip that at the back like so you can see sort of like what we're doing there now again we'll put another Caput in and just to make things a little bit awkward or different not awkward different we're just going to put this somewhere else and we'll put this one to there and I'm going to put it a different way looks a little bit more interesting we don't want this too uniformed so we're just going to have you there and just a quick tie like so so again if we were going to hang it that's what we're looking at the minute but I think with this one here we'll look at this one lying down and again what I do want to put into it again is some of my tectorum really quite nice nice and well nice and fluffy so if you like fluffy things you're going to like the tectorum but if you do like fluffy plants a nice one to use again is this one and this is Argentia uh, mentioned earlier on about how you would sort it water these ones these are definitely a misting they, they're not really good to dunk same with the tectorum the, the, this one here again and I mean a very, very fine mist, like an atomizer. So the finer the mist, the better it is. So the, the water just literally clings onto the hairs. Again with this one, let's just push it through. Through the wood. And we're going to put you there like so. Again, just holding it. And we'll put a couple of these on. Because I do like them. But so you can see, I'll put two of these together just so you can see and again on it goes a little bit of a tie there and a twist like so I'm just positioning to make it look a bit better this is going to be a look down one so that's how we're looking now again few more good examples going in again I'm going to use a red iron offer and this one here I like a block of this going in like so and we'll twist you round in position there and we'll we will I'll, I'll clump these together yourself if you wanted to do this uh, very easy all you need to we could just put one there I want to leave a little bit of space in this as well so you can actually see the wood as well the wood's quite attractive on its own and I'm gonna put you there and the, you know because we're looking down on this um, 
the plants don't all need to sort of face the same way. Don't do it uniforms. You know, for a little examples there is the way I've just put them Ionathas in there. I've got one going one way and one going the other. Makes it a bit more interesting. I'll probably put another little Tectorum in at this point here. Again, another tie, like so. And finally now, just to complete the, the little wreath ring that we're doing with the Talanzia, I'm just gonna add one more of the Talanzia Ionatha to this. And what I'm gonna do with this again, similar to what we've done already, is a loose wire around there. Again, plastic coated wire. Uh, we don't want no wires rusting. It will badly affect the Talanzia. And indeed, we'll maybe pop off in that. Uh, and that, two ways of doing this. You could sort of either have this lying down. I'll just move a couple of these, get a better view. You could have it sitting down like that, uh, which is just like a nice little table feature. Or failing that, if you wanted to sort of hang this up, uh, what you could also do with this now is, you know, however which way you feel, uh, this way, you could just hang it that way. And if you did do it this way, uh, hanging it up, what you could add to it as well, that would really complement it, is some of the, the Talanzia Uzenoides, uh, which basically that's it. Putting a piece this big is obviously much too much, so maybe we'd sort of like reduce down what we put onto this, just to keep it uh, in proportion with the rest of the design. So a little bit kind of hanging down. I'm not going to rip it up. Uh, we want to get these kept in big pieces, so I'll just hang you there for now. But if we wanted to do this, a little piece just like that hanging down. Uh, again, to look after it, uh, if it's hanging up, a little bit of a misting. Uh, in the summer months, you could put this outside. It does like good light. If you're going to keep it indoors, try not to put it by a window. Uh, the magnifying effect of the sun onto these plants will scorch them. And again, uh, a, a very fine misting coming over these, and you'll be quite, you know, qu quite happy how this will look. So there we go. That's my little uh, few little ideas I've shown you. And obviously, you can find a lot more on our website, which is every-picture.com. Thank you. Mm -hmm.